Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I am pretty stoked for today's video because not only am I going to show you a little tiny unboxing that I got recently, but in addition, I'm also going to show you how I saved $200 on a Gucci bag. That's right, you guys. $200. This is actually a little trick that I learned from one of my subscribers. Her name is Belinda and I had done a video on this before probably about a year ago but I recently bought another little item so I wanted to show you how I'll do that. So in this video I'm going to first I'm going to show you what I got from Gucci and then I am going to kind of take you step by step how I achieved this. So without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button Button. and if you want to see my new little Gucci bag as well as how to save some money then keep watching okay, so as you know I went to Vegas recently I had a little budget set aside to buy a few things if you haven't seen that haul I will make sure to include it at the end of this video in the event you wanted to check it out. Well, while I was there, I also had my eye on another little Gucci item. But of course, when I was out in Vegas, you pay the 8.5% sales tax, and I thought, you know what? I just, I'm going to hold off. For some reason, my gut instinct was telling me to hold off. So, first, let me show you what I ended up getting. Okay, so I went through the Net net a Porte website. So, on the Net a Porte website, it's, you know, very similar to like a Neiman Marcus where they have. Gucci, they have Saint Laurent, all kinds of items, but they are overseas. But I was scrolling through the website and they happened to have the bag that I wanted. So let me show you what bag that was. And I will be honest, I was torn. So first off, it comes in like a little Gucci box. I was torn on what color to get. I wanted to either get red, black, or maybe like a little tan color, but they didn't have the tan or the red, so I opted for the black because I thought that, you know, black was the color I would wear quite a bit, but you can see it comes in this box, cute little Gucci bag, and then I opened it up, and the little bag that I'm talking about that is the cutest little thing I've ever seen is this little Gucci Super Mini Marmont. This is the most adorable bag. Now, when I was in Vegas, I did try it on, and I wanted to see if it fit my phone, just to kind of show you um, that it fits my phone. Oh, let me take all the paper out. It comes with all this paper. I have the iPhone 10, and you can see the iPhone 10 fits really nicely in there. And later on, I will end up doing like a what's in my bag, and in the future, and review if you guys wanted to see it. But so I did try it on and I saw that I could fit my little wallet. I thought I could fit my phone and I just thought that this was the most adorable little bag. I had my eye on the larger size of it, but I was like, you know, I don't really, really need that. I just want a tiny, tiny little bag. So it is black. You can see it has the chevron print. It has the GG Gucci logo in the brass hardware. Um, the back is adorable because it has a cute little heart and then it comes with this nice little chain so let me go ahead and kind of show you um you can wear it as a shorter bag or you can wear it as a crossbody so let me show you what it looks like on me as a crossbody super cute it falls right at the hip really really cute bag Okay, so this is the little bag I got. Again, adorable. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. But you guys, I know that's not why you're here. That's not why you clicked on this video. You want to know, Amber, how in the world did you save $200 on this bag? And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you step by step. But first, let me kind of tell you a little background and a breakdown before I show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so basically, if you go to the Nete Porte website, you have the ability to to shop in in different currencies depending on where you're located so a lot of times we would choose US dollar well if you go on the website there's an option to choose British pound and as you know there's a daily conversion rate so again I'm going to take you through this but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll click it on the British pound I'll see what it is and then if you go to Google and you just Google US dollar to British pound you can put it in and you can see what the conversion rate is and how much you would get for your US dollar compared to the British pound um, now I do want to caveat this by saying a couple things one 
every day it fluctuates so it's not going to be the same so you might save more than I did or you might save less than I did it really kind of depends on what the exchange rate is for that day and two it is very interesting I found that I got more savings on Saint Laurent than I did on Gucci for some reason this one in particular just worked out but I did try to do this Gucci bag this worked but then when I put in the little Gucci coin purse just to kind of see how that would translate there wasn't a ton of savings compared to the US so it really depends you kind of just have to play around with it but I did end up getting my Saint Laurent tri quilt um, envelope bag from net a -Porte and I saved a ton of money I want to say it say it was like $700 or something like that that I saved it was really really good and this one I saved 200 so it really all depends so now what I want to do is I'm gonna do a little screenshot it's on my phone and I'm gonna kind of take you step by step you know what I do in order to save money okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the net a -Porte website and when you're on the net a -Porte website you're gonna want to go if it's on a what if it's on a desktop you want to go to the top left hand corner and you're going to put in GBP or you know which is British pound okay you're going to search for what you want I obviously searched for bags and I typed in the um, the Gucci mini Marmont because that's the one that I was looking so you will see me searching right here and again I'm searching for this after I've already changed it to um, British pounds but you can also check the US dollars too so I'm searching for the bag I want. There it is. So I'm going to click on it. And let me just stop. Just stop right here. You can see that it has British pounds of $675. So when you first do the $675 and you look at the conversion, it's you know pretty comparable to the US. It's not really that great of a deal, but let me let's proceed. So you go ahead and what you're going to do is you're going to add it to your shopping bag. Okay. I choose the one size. I add it to my shopping bag. Okay. Then what you're going to do, and then you're going to see it has your total with shipping of $5 has GBP of 680. You look that up. You're like, Amber, this is not going to work. This is either more or this is comparable to us dollars. But what happens is when you click proceed to purchase, what it's going to do is for some reason it changes and you're going to see the order summary, the shipping is free and the new item total is $562.50 in British pounds. So you can see that the amount decreased. Now for some reason with other items like some other little Gucci items, it doesn't do this. It will just stay what it was or it will go higher. So you kind of have to play around with it. Okay, so then what you want to do, and sorry if this, some of this is like really close up, it had some of my information in there. So I just kind of tried to um, make it a little larger so you couldn't see like my home address and all kinds of stuff. All right, so now what it's going to do is you're going to pay through PayPal. So you're going to choose that option to pay through PayPal. And then what it's going to do is after you choose the PayPal option, it obviously is going to transfer you to PayPal. You're going to log in and then you're going to see here, it says your total is 562.50 in British pound. Okay. So you may still be thinking, okay, well that's 562.50 in the British pound. Well, how much is it? Okay. And then you're going to see the new total was $721.23, which if you guys look at the Neiman Marcus website, this bag currently retails in the U S for $980. I know $980 for this bag is, is ridiculous, but that's what we crazy people will pay for these luxury items, especially for handbag addicts. But you can see right there, that is already more more than a $200 savings. So, and then what will happen is you will then get your receipt. Then you'll get your email. And then this is the website I wanted to take you to. If you go to Google, you just put in GBP to US dollar. And what it'll do, it'll have this come up. And what you can do is you can put in the 562 and it will convert it to the US dollar depending on what the conversion is for that day. Okay, so you can see we ended up getting the bag for like $700. And then let's go to the Neiman Marcus website and let's see what it is in US dollars there. You can see this bag, the same exact bag is 
eight, oh, I'm sorry, it's $890. And then after tax, it's going to be well over $900. So you're going to end up getting like a $200 savings. And I think before I said the bag was $980, it was $980, it was $890. So yeah, guys, so that's how I was able to do it. Um, I've done this twice already. Again, one of my subscribers had reached out to me before. Her name is Belinda. She is awesome. I'll be sure to put her Instagram down below. And she had messaged me and told me about this. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Again, for some reason, for me, it doesn't work for everything. I think a lot of it depends on where you live in the United States as well. It again depends on the the exchange rate for that day but it has worked for me twice I've done it with my YSL bag I've done it with my Gucci bag and these are authentic you're getting it from net a -Porte. but for some reason in the United States luxury bags are so expensive but it's very similar to if you were to go to London and you go to Heathrow Airport and you go overseas or if you go to Hawaii you can get luxury bags for so much cheaper it's just inflated in the United States so that's all kind of that it's doing so I hope this helped I hope I can save you guys some money I will be sure to put a link to the net -A porte website unfortunately I checked and I wasn't able to find this bag on the website anymore I'm not sure why but I did put the link down below in case you see any other bags they have tons of other Gucci bags tons of Saint Laurent but again I do want a caveat depends on the exchange rate and for me for whatever reason it doesn't always work with Gucci but it does usually work with Saint Laurent I'm not sure about the other brands but I'll put a link down below to the net -a porte website in addition if this is the bag you have your eye on I will also put a link down below to some pre-love sites you know, sometimes on the pre-love sites, you can get the new bags um, as well. So I hope this helped. If you guys do end up trying this, let me know down below. Thanks again to Belinda, you know, for saving me some money. I, I love to shop. I love to um, invest in handbags. It's kind of just um, kind of my hobby, I guess you could say. I just really love to collect them. But I also like to sp uh, save money. Who doesn't like to save money? You guys work hard for your money. You put it aside for items like this that you want to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck. So if you guys know of any more little like tricks on how to save money, let me know down below. And I'd be interested to know if you do try this, let me know how much money are you able to save. So I hope this helped. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'd love to have you join me over there. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I was looking like a fool when I met ya. All covered up in the dirt from my past. So insecure by myself.